today's topic will be switching so in switching what is switching that's the first thing that we would like to say when in fact why is switching required so if you have to connect to devices you can just draw a link uh, a connection from one device to the other device but what if you have multiple devices as in as number of net I mean uh, the number of devices and network increases as the network increases it is impossible to have a point-to-point -point connection between all these devices so the best option is switching so in switching uh, what what is switching basically the transfer of data from nodes to nodes is switching now what are nodes so switch no, uh, network consists of series of interlinked nodes called as switches now this switches could be a hardware or software devices which are capable of creating temporary connection between two or more devices linked to the switch so you can have some link uh, some switch uh, some uh, end end stations connected to the switch and the switch connected to another switch and then the other switch connected to other link let's see the example of a switch network so as i said we have over here a b c all this computer so a b c connected to uh, a and b are connected to a uh, switch one and if they want to communicate with h they can easily follow go to switch uh, 4 and then go to switch 7 and then go to H so this is a switch network imagine if we had all this connected by point to point say if A was connected point to point till L all these people okay then A was uh, and A was talking to D then the problem would have been the link which is connected only to A to D would be uh, would be used and rest all these links would go idle so the best option is switch switch network or switching now there are different types of switching uh, the basic switching is circuit switching packet switching and message switching in circuit switching you have space division switching you have time division switching under space division you have cross pass switching and multi-stage switching in time division you have time slot interchange switching and TDM bus switching then you have packet switching under packet switching we have again two types datagram approach virtual circuit approach virtual circuit approach is again of two types SVC that is switch virtual circuits and PVC that is permanent virtual circuits okay then the first thing we are gonna learn is the circuit switching now circuit switching it creates a direct physical connection between the two devices such as phones and computer so now if we have to con communicate from a to d okay now computer a is connected to d then it will the there should be a physical connection that should exist between these two devices to uh, for them to communicate so a is connected to switch one the switch one is in turn connected to switch two the switch 2 is in turn connected to switch 3 and then it is connected to D okay so this is how your A is talking to D now similarly if you wanted to connect say B to F then you could connect B to switch 1 switch 1 would be connected to switch 2 then switch 2 would be connected to switch 4 and then switch 4 to F okay so this is the way you can do circuit switching so uh, there are just two types of uh, switches you can say a circuit switch and a folded switch a circuit switch uh, connects n inputs to m number of outputs a folded switch connects all this n uh, n uh, telephone lines are connected in full duplex mode then the types of circuit switching as i told you space division switching and time division switching so in space division switching the paths in the circuit are separated specially so first thing we have we have is a crossbar switches in crossbar switches we can connect n number of inputs to m number of outputs but in order to connect n number of inputs to the m number of outputs we require electronic micro switch at each cross points so if you have n inputs and m outputs you require n into m cross point and as the 
number of inputs and output increases the number of cross points increases and becomes very large to uh, handle and very inefficient now what is the solution to this solution is you use multi stage switches so rather than having only one stage or only one crossbar switch you have multiple uh, crossbar switches at different stages in the network so for example here we have 15 inputs connected to 15 outputs okay but this inputs are not connect uh, this inputs and outputs are not connected to a single crossbar switch but they are divided into three stages the first stage is stage one is the input stage where you have 15 input lines connected to three different switches so each switch has five input five inputs and two outputs then the intermediate stage has uh, two switches with three inputs three outputs and the third stage that's the output stage has three switches each switch having two inputs and five outputs now what's what's important to know over here is how is multi-stage switch reducing the number of cross points that are required so now if you see uh, with this 15 inputs and 15 outputs the number of cross points would have been 15 multiplied by 15 that would give you around 225 cross points if it was a single stage switch or single switch now since we have divided into multiple stages if you see in the first stage the cross points are each switch is 5 multiplied by 2 so 5 twos are 10 3 switches so 30 the second stage three uh, each switch will have 3 multiplied by 3 that is 9 so 2 switches it will be 18 and the output switch again will be 30 so 30 plus 30 is 60 plus 18 is 78 instead of 225 cross points we have reduced that number to around 78 that is around 35 percent of the of the uh, as required for the crossbar switching now with multi-stage we get something called as multiple paths so suppose if you want suppose if you want uh, to connect see if you want to connect this 4 to 9 on the output sides you could go to this switch over here and that's this connection over here and then to 9 that is one path but I could also connect I could also connect the same via this to the switch in the top part and then back to the switch and then to this particular line that is output 9 so I can I have shown you that uh, the fourth line of the input can connect to nine uh, nine line of the output with multiple paths okay that is also possible with multi-stage switching now when you have when you have uh, multiple paths or when you have multi stages uh, in the switching then this one disadvantage that comes into picture is blocking now suppose now suppose if if two lines over here if I if I have the fourth line and the third line both wants to communicate so third line can take one of the switch uh, one of the path and fourth can take another part okay of course third is communicating to uh, say four over here and fourth is communicating to nine over here so they can easily communicate but what if the first line of the input also wants to communicate to maybe say 15th line of the output it is not at all possible why because there are only two outputs so so what happens is blocking happens now blocking is unavailability of a link for the uh, for transmission okay so blocking blocking is what it refers to the time when one input cannot be connected to the output because there is no path available between them so as the number of stages increases blocking will increase okay with a single st uh, single switch there is not no problem of blocking so then we go to the next part that is called as time division switches okay now in time division switches they will use time division multiplexing the two popular methods for time division is time slot interchange and 
TDM bus. Now this thing you will have to note down in the example that is coming next. The first uh, input will, uh, will send the data to the third output. The second input will go to the fourth output. The third input will go to the first output and the fourth and the fourth input will go to second output this thing you have to know so if you if you do not have something called as time slot interchange then how tdm works a will send its data b will send c will send d will send now this will be given to this frame and this will be received at the output a will go to the first fellow b will go to the second fellow c will uh, go to third and d will go to fourth but what we wanted we wanted whatever a was sending to go to y whatever b was sending we wanted to go to z and whatever c was sending we wanted to go to w and whatever d was sending we wanted to go to x but without the time slot interchange switching does not take place now let's see what happens with tsi now with tsi what happens which we know that a has to go to c so a comes in the third slot uh, b has to go to d uh, the last one the b has to go to the z so it goes in the fourth slot c has to go to the first fellow so it goes in the first slot and d has to go to the second slot so in the second slot so with the time slot interchange we are able to achieve switching so how does this work it has a ram which uh, which will store the incoming data and this data will be uh, retrieved using this control unit and selectively given to the output okay so the input is sequentially controlled that is a b c d and the output is selectively controlled using a control unit okay so this takes time so ram has to fill up with the incoming data and then that data has to be retrieved and then sent to the output so it takes a little bit of time so we have something called as tdm bus now tdm bus is uh, this is a common bus that is uh, used by all the inputs and the outputs but all the inputs and outputs are connected by a gates by high speed gates okay so you have input gate and the output gate so this control unit de uh, determines which gates will be closed simultaneously now suppose i want to send from one input third output one input gate will be closed at the same time third output gate will be closed and the data from one will flow through three now if two and four so two input has to go to four the input gate of two will be closed and output gate of four will be closed and two and four will be connected and we can get switching using tdm bus next we have is tst switch or time space time switch okay now why do we go for this we go for this is because space division is instantaneous there is no delay but it has cross points last it requires large number of cross points and there is blocking time division on the other hand does not need cross point but but in case of tsi the processing each the uh, each uh, each connection creates delay what is the delay that you have the, the ram has to be filled up and then that data has to be retrieved so what we do is we combine both of these technologies and make multi-stage switches so in this di diagram you can see the the, f the input stage is all time division stage the middle part is a space division and the output part is time division so that's why it's called as tst switch time space time also the variations are uh, you can have a uh, time space space time that is tsst and you can have space time time space okay and so on okay 